The Ford Transit is a range of light commercial vehicles produced by Ford Motor Company since 1965. Sold primarily as a cargo van, the Transit is also built as a passenger van, minibus, cutaway van chassis, and as a pickup truck. Over 7 million Transits have been produced across four basic platform generations. The first product of the merged Ford of Europe, the Transit was marketed through Western Europe and Australia. By the end of the 20th century, it was marketed nearly globally with the exception of USA. The Transit has been the best-selling light commercial vehicle in Europe for 40 years, and in some countries the term Transit has passed into common usage as a generic term applying to any light commercial van in the Transit size bracket. While initially designed for European consumption, the Transit is now produced in Asia, North America, and Europe for worldwide buyers. The first Transit, unlike the British-built Transit family, the first production Ford to wear the Transit badge was a van built in Ford's car paragraph LN plant in Germany. It was introduced in 1953 as FK1000 with a 1.3-litre inline-four engine from the contemporary Taunus. In 1955 the engine capacity was enlarged to 1.5 litres. From 1961, this vehicle was called the Ford Taunus Transit. Production of this model ceased in 1965. Naming system, the German vehicle was not widely exported, and the Mark I tag has commonly been applied, retrospectively, to the 1965-1978 British model. Whilst there have been four basic transit platforms since 1965, the various facelifts and upgrades over the years have been referred to using a conflicting range of Mark numbers, with some sources counting a facelift as a new Mark, some not. Ford's own historical look back at transit production, published for the launch of the 1994 model, avoids the issue by referring to generations of the transit by years produced. This article attempts to make mention of all the common naming systems. First Generation The first generation transit, or the Transit Mark I in the United Kingdom, was introduced in October 1965, taking over directly from the Thames 400E and has been in continuous production in three basic generations to the present day. The van was produced initially at Ford's Langley facility in Berkshire, England, but demand outstripped the capability of the plant, and production was moved to Southampton until closure in 2013 in favour of the Turkish factory. Transits have also been produced in Ford's Genk factory in Belgium and also Turkey. Transits were produced in Amsterdam for the local market from the mid-1970s until the end of 1981. This factory had ample capacity, since the Ford Transcontinental produced there had little success. Although the Transit sold well in the Netherlands, it was not enough to save the factory, which closed in December 1981. The Transit was introduced to replace the Ford Thames 400E a small mid-engined Ford control van noted for its narrow track which was in competition with similar-looking but larger vehicles from the BMC J4 and J2 vans and Roots Group's comma PB ranges. In a UK market segment then dominated by the Bedford CA, Ford's Thames competitor, because of its restricted load area, failed to attract fleet users in sufficient numbers. Ford switched to a front-engined configuration, as did the 1950s by Bedford with their well-regarded CA series vans. Henry Ford II's revolutionary step was to combine the engineering efforts of Ford of Britain and Ford of Germany to create a prototype for the Ford of Europe of today our Euro previously the two subsidiaries had avoided competing in one another's domestic markets but had been direct competitors in other European markets. The Transit was a departure from the European commercial vehicles of the day with its American-inspired Stalinga Euro its broad track gave it a huge advantage in carrying capacity over comparable vehicles of the day. Most of the Transit's mechanical components were adapted from Ford's car range of the time. Another key to the Transit's success was the sheer number of different body styles, panel vans in long and short wheelbase forms, pickup truck, minibuses, crew cabs to name but a few. The engines used in the UK were the Essex V4 for the petrol engine version in 1.7L and 2.0L capacities. By using relatively short V4 engines Ford were able to minimise the additional length necessitated to place the engine ahead of the driver. 
Another popular development under the bonnet was the equipping of the BAM with an alternator at time when the UK market competitors expected buyers to be content with a dynamo. A 43A BHP diesel engine sourced from Perkins was also offered. As this engine was too long to fit under the transit stubby nose, the diesel version featured a longer bonnet. The underpowered Perkins proved unpopular, and was replaced by Ford's own York unit in 1974. For mainland Europe the Transit had the German Ford Taunus V4 engine in Cologne 1.3, 1.5, and 1.7 or Essex 2.0 litre versions. The diesel version's long nose front was also used to accommodate the Ford 3.0 litre V6 in bands supplied to police and ambulance services. In Australia, the Transit went on sale in 1972 with the long-nosed diesel front used to accommodate an inline six-cylinder engine derived from the Ford Falcon. According to the show Top Gear, British police have reported that in the 1970s 95% of all robberies in which the criminals used a vehicle, involved this type of Ford Transit. The adoption of a front beam axle in place of a system incorporating independent front suspension that had featured on its UK predecessor might have been seen as a backward step by some but on-the-road commentators felt that the Transit's wider track and longer wheelbase more than compensated for the apparent step backwards represented by Ford's suspension choices. Drivers appreciated the elimination of the excessive noise, smell and cabin heat that resulted from placing the driver above or adjacent to the engine compartment in the Thames 400E and other Ford controller light vans of the 1950s and early 1960s. Together with the facelifted 1978 version, this would be the longest lift of the transit platforms, remaining in production for a total of 21 years. Second Generation In March 1978, a facelifted version, commonly known in some markets as the Transit Mark II, debuted with a restyled nose section, lifted from the US MK3 Econoline, new interior, and the introduction of the Pinto engine from the Cortina in place of the Essex V4. Many fleet owners experienced premature camshaft wear in early Pinto units in the Cortina and for two years the Transit 75 was available with a 1.6L Ford Kent cross-flow engine. High-performance versions intended for police or ambulance use used the 3.0L V6 version of the Essex engine, Australian variants had 4.1L inline six-cylinder engines. In 1984, the York diesel engine was redesigned into the 2.5 LDI unit. At this time this generation received a minor facelift including a grey plastic front grille with integrated headlamp surrounds, wraparound indicators, longer bumper end caps and multifunction rear lights incorporating fog, indicator, reversing and side lights for the panel van. This facelift did not commonly result in a new Mark number. The Mark II was available in six body styles. Van, Combi, Chassis Club, Parcel Van, Bus and Crew Bus all available in short wheelbase and long wheelbase versions. A selection of five engines was available, 1.6-litre OHC petrol, 1.6-litre OHV petrol, 2.0-litre OHC petrol, 2.0-litre OHC petrol and 2.4-litre diesel. On top of this were 32-door combinations, six axle ratios and options for 12 to 17 interior seats. All of these were available in any combination when purchased with Ford's highly customizable custom plan. At the time this gave the business sector an unprecedented amount of flexibility, which was a major factor in the vehicle's ultimate success. Third Generation The third generation transit platform appeared in January 1986 and was notable for its all-new body shell which was a one-box design, and the front suspension was changed to a fully independent configuration on SWB versions. The engine range was carried over largely unchanged from the last of the 1978-85 generation models, although in 1989 the high-performance 3.0 V6 petrol was replaced by the Cologne 2.9 EFI V6. A subtle facelift in 1992 saw the fully independent front suspension adopted across the range, whilst a redesigned floor plan allowed the use of single, rather than paired, rear wheels on the LWB derivative, further increasing payload of Euro these models are identifiable by the slightly more rounded front headlamps. In Australia, 
the third generation Transit did not go on sale until March 1994, after a 13 year absence in that market. Facelift A major facelift to the Transit in 1994 1995 gave the Transit a new nose and dashboard, along with the 2.0 LDOHC 8 valve engine as found in the 1994 1998 Ford Scorpio. It is similar to the earlier Sierra DOHC unit but without the distributor and uses the updated OBD2 compliant EECV level engine control unit. Some of Ford's 16 valve engines, such as those found in the Scorpio, Escort RS2000 and Galaxy were also based on this block. At the same time air conditioning, electric windows, central locking, electric mirrors and airbags were all made available as optional extras. The turbo diesel version came in 85 PS, 100 PS and 115 PS version with an electronic fuel pump. For the 30th anniversary of the Transit in 1995 Ford released a limited edition model called the Transit Hallmark. 600 were made and were available in three colors with 200 being made in each. In Europe the VE83 Transit was available up to 2000 but in Vietnam it was built up to 2003 when it was exchanged in June for the new generation. Fourth generation, the fourth generation Transit, introduced in July 2000, was the third all-new design, and borrowed styling cues from Ford's new edge designs like the Focus, and Car. Developed by Ford in the United States, the main innovation is that it is available in either front or rear wheel drive. Ford nomenclature makes this the V184 or V185 model. This model features the Puma type Duratorque turbo diesel engine also used in the 2000 Mondeo and Jaguar X type, with the petrol versions moving up to the 2.3 L16 valve edition of the straight 4 engine. With this engine, the Transit can reach 60 mph in 21 seconds and reach a top speed of 93 mph returning it to car-like performance as claimed for the earliest models. A demonstration of this model's speed was shown on Top Gear in 2005, where German race driver Sabine Schmitz attempted to drive it around an R1 quarter Rebergring in under 10 minutes, matching Jeremy Clarkson's time in a Tabo diesel Jaguar S-Type. She was unsuccessful, but only by a few seconds. This version won the International Van of the Year 2001. The Duraship Estate automatic transmission features controls mounted on the dashboard, a specially adapted manual mode, tow haul mode, economy mode and winter mode. 2002 saw the introduction of the first high-pressure common rail diesel engine in the transit, with the launch of the 125 PS HP CR 2.0 liter and the FWD. Production of the van started at the new Ford Otisan plant in Kokaeli. Turkey which saw the end of all production at the Genk, Belgium plant which had been producing transit since 1965. This coincided with the introduction of the Transit Connect, a smaller panel van based on the C-170 platform and aimed at replacing the older Escort and Fiesta-based models. Despite the name, the Connect has no engineering commonality with a full-size Transit, 2003 saw a new instrument cluster with a digital odometer. 2004 saw the launch of the first AWD HPCR, the 135 PS 2.4 liter variant that also introduced the six speed MT82 AWD manual gearbox. The 5 millionth Transit rolled off the Southampton line on Monday, 18 July 2005, and was donated to an English charity. Facelift The fourth generation Transit received a facelift to the body, introduced in August 2006 including new front and rear lights, a new front end and a new interior featuring the gear stick on the dashboard and Ford's new corporate radio design. Besides the styling changes, the powertrains were revised. The old petrol engine was replaced with one from the Ford Ranger, the front-wheel drive diesel went from 2.0 to 2.2 liters capacity, and all diesel engines gained high-pressure common rail systems. The powertrains were changed to meet new emissions legislation. The new version won International Van of the Year for 2007 despite tough competition from several all-new rivals. This transit arrived in Mexico to replace the Freestyle after the 2007 model year. This was the first transit having a five-cylinder engine. 
mid-2006 saw the launch of the Sport Van, a production van featuring the 130 PS engine with additional styling parts, Le Mans stripes and 18-inch alloy wheels. Late 2007 saw the launch of the 140 PS engine for front-wheel drives complete with the VMT 6-speed manual transaxle to cope with the extra power. The six-speed transaxle was introduced on the mid-power FWD in late 2008 when the 110 PS engine was up to 115 PS. In late 2008, the coated diesel particulate filter Euro designed to meet higher emission standards than the current Euro 4 Requirimental Euro was introduced as an option on all diesel engines. Engines, 2.2L diesel, 63 a kilowatt. 2006 a Euro 2012, 2.2 L diesel, 81 a kilowatt. 2006 a 2008, 2.2 L diesel, 85 a kilowatt. 2008 a Euro 2012, 2.2 L diesel, 96 a kilowatt. 2006 a 2007, 2.2 L diesel, 103 a kilowatt. 2007 a Euro 2012, 2.4 L diesel. 74 a kilowatt. 2006 a Euro 2012, 2.4 L diesel, 85 a kilowatt. 2006 a Euro 2012, 2.4 L diesel, 103 a kilowatt. 2006 a Euro 2012, 3.2 L diesel, 147 a kilowatt. 2007 a Euro 2012, 2.3 L petrol, 107 a kilowatt. 2006 a Euro 2012, to celebrate the transit status as International Van of the Year 2007, Ford built this stretch-style van a Euro the Transit XXL. It is a unique special that is among the more expensive transits ever. Fifth generation, the fifth generation of the transit was officially launched in January 2013 at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. In the summer of 2014, it was released in North America as a 2015 model as the replacement for the 40-year-old Econoline E-Series. While the front-wheel drive V347 Transit was sold alongside the E-Series in Mexico starting in 2007, this generation of the Transit is the first to be officially sold in the United States and Canada. A globally designed vehicle, the new generation Transit was again a collaboration between Ford of Europe and Ford in North America. With its external design headed by Ford of Europe, the new Transit evolved from the new edge styling used from the previous generation model to the kinetic design adopted by many of the company's global models since 2010. The interior drew cues from the third generation Ford Focus. In North America, part of the development was undertaken by Ford designers based in Detroit. As the Transit is replacing the E Series, Ford loaned examples of the previous generation transit to high mileage drivers in the United States for evaluation purposes and durability testing. Transit Tourneo Custom As before, the Transit and Tourneo are available in both front and rear wheel drive configurations. In a break from the previous generation, front wheel drive low roof versions are now a distinct model. Branded as the Transit Tourneo Custom, it is a mid-size van intended to compete with vehicles such as the Mercedes-Benz Vito Viano and Volkswagen Transporter T5. It was unveiled at the 2012 Commercial Vehicle Show at the National Exhibition Centre in Birmingham, England. Currently, the Transit Custom will not be sold in North America. North America version, the new Transit is available in cargo van and chassis cutaway cab configurations. In a significant departure from the E-Series, the Transit van's wagons come in three different roof heights. Extended wheelbase vans are available with dual rear wheels. As with the much smaller Transit Connect, passenger versions are marketed under a singular Transit nameplate rather than the Tourneo name seen globally. Outside of North America, much of the Transit engine lineup and drivetrain configurations are retained from the previous generation. For the United States and Canada, the Transit shares only a 180 horsepower 3.2L Duratorque i5 diesel with global market models. The standard engine is a 275 horsepower 3.7L TVC TV6 and an optional 320 horsepower 3.5L ECO Boost V6 shared with the F 150 and D3 platform vehicles. 
All versions in North America were specified with a six-speed automatic transmission and a rear-wheel drivetrain. The 3.7L TVC TV6 can be converted to run on compressed natural gas or liquefied petroleum gas with an optional gaseous engine prep package. Production Worldwide production of Ford Transits takes place in two facilities. All European transit production is from Ford Otosan in Kokaeli Province, Turkey. This factory which will also provide a percentage of global exports. North American production is primarily sourced from Kansas City Assembly in Clay Como, Missouri on the lines used for the previous generation Ford Escape. Production at Kansas City Assembly Plant began in April 30, 2014. Chinese production, the Ford Transit VJX 6541 DKM is the Chinese version and it based on its predecessors of the third and fourth generation. This generation is only built in Nankang by Jiangling Motors and is reserved for the Chinese domestic market. Remarkable are the much larger headlights and the larger grille. The model was launched to the markets in 2006. Overall, the generation has 70 improvements to its predecessor. The interior has been changed and made more ergonomic. Power windows are standard, but ABS is optional. The Chinese Transit is available with two diesel engines and one petrol. One of them has a power of 67.6 a kilowatt, the other 68 a kilowatt. Both diesels have a capacity of 2,771 a cc. The later diesel version has a common rail 2.8 liter unit I one quarter with turbocharger and intercooler E one quarter per mil that produce 80-85 kW. The petrol version uses a Mitsubishi Ford G64S 4N engine 92 a kilowatt inline 4 motor. The top speed is specified at 68.35 a mile per hour. The Chinese transits have a van in following form, LJX BMC H1A, a, ta, a, 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 a. The European 2006 Ford Transit went into production in 2008. On the Chinese market it is known as the New Transit. It is offered parallel to the 2006 China generation. The two facilities are currently manufacturing 300,000 units annually. Ford and Jiangling want to open a third plant in late 2012 to increase the annual production to further 3,000 units. In January 2010, the Toyota recalls affected the products of the Ford Group because Ford used the same supplier. It was suspected that the accelerator pedals were defective and posed a danger. About 1,600 Ford Transits of the 2006 China generation were affected by the recall. The European models of the VE6 and VE8 generation can be given an aftermarket facelift to the Chinese version. This needs the Chinese components and manual skills. Production ended in 2013, alongside the European Transit, due to slumping sales as the Ford of China website changed. Variants, County 4x4. A handful of companies offered four-wheel drive conversions, such as County Tractors of Knighton and Powys, who converted vans on behalf of Ford as a special vehicle operations factory option. The first Transit County models were based on the MK2 Transit model, both long and short wheelbase. The conversion used a Dana 44F front axle and an NP208 transfer box, both lifted from the Ford Bronco, coupled to the regular transit engine, gearbox and rear axle using three custom prop shafts. The transit rear axle was retained, mounted to a rear subframe or lift cradle to give the extra ride height. Other modifications were 16-inch wheel rims, locking front hubs, a heavy-duty steering box and 305 on diameter front brake discs. With the introduction of the MK3 Transit in 1986 came the next generation of the County 4x4. This would prove to be a very popular and successful version of the County Transit 4x4, and the last to use the Dana beam axle layout. Later County 4x4 models switched to using an independent front suspension setup which was inherently more complex in design than the earlier beam axle models. Later panel vans also lost the twin-wheel rear axle that had been fitted on earlier LWB versions. Mainly used by utility companies such as National Grid, the Ministry of Defense, and by mountain rescue teams, 
the Transit County 4X4 proved to be a capable vehicle both on and off-road, with the ability to carry both crew and equipment just about anywhere. Design and supply of drivetrain components for County 4X4 models passed to County Truck, a division of MJ Allen Limited, who are still involved in the development of the latest MK7 AWD Transit and Connect models. Tourneo, introduced as part of the 1995 redesign of the Transit, the Tourneo is a transit-based eight- or nine-seat minibus, but over the model years has become increasingly better trimmed to the point where it can almost be classified as a large MPV. Featuring back seats and back windows similar to a minivan, the Tourneo is also considered an executive transport vehicle and is often supplied with alloy wheels. Since its introduction, the Tourneo has followed the same development cycle as the Transit. Both versions receive updates at the same time. A smaller minivan version of the Tourneo was introduced in 2002. Branded the Tourneo Connect, it was based on the Transit Connect Mini MPV. Media, a number of promotional supervans were built, combining the outline and appearance of the Transit with the chassis and performance of a sports racing car. Television, Top Gear UK A Mark III Transit was used by Jeremy Clarkson in Man with Van Challenge that took place in BBC's Top Gear TV show in Series 8. Episode 8, which was first aired on July 30, 2006. The Transit finished second versus a Bedford Rascal and a large Transit-based LDV convoy Luton. This involved buying a van for under a £1,000, and several tests representing typical van news, a quarter-mile drag race. Loading, carrying, and disgorging a load of furniture. Tailgating. Replacing a damaged door. A police chase etc. The Transit upheld its reputation for agility by performing particularly well in the final chase, resisting arrest much longer than the slow LDV and unstable Suzuki, which overturned at the first curve. A Mark IV Ford Transit was used in a Top Gear Challenge to celebrate the Transit's 40th birthday, was titled Lap the Nar one quarter Rebergring in less than 9 minutes and 59 seconds. In a van, and took place in Series 6, Episode 8 which was first broadcast on July 10, 2005. In the segment, Sabine Schmitz drove the transit around the NAR one quarter Ruberg ring to see if she could beat presenter Jeremy Clarkson's time in a Jaguar S-type diesel of 9 minutes 59 seconds. However, her best time was 10 minutes 8 seconds despite reducing the weight of the van. Two Mark V Ford transits was used by the Top Gear team in Challenge, Part 1 of Series 20, Episode 4 which was first broadcast on July 21, 2013. In the episode the trio transform a Ford Transit into a hovercraft with the intent of bringing relief to the areas of Britain that are flood-stricken. The hovervan sinks, and the presenters then go on to blame each other. Top Gear Australia, a modified Mark III Transit was also used in Top Gear Australia's Ashes Special and Top Gear Series 16 Episode 2, where Richard Hammond raced the van against a Holden Malou pickup driven by Shane Jacobson in a drag race. Unknown to Hammond and the Australians, the van was actually Jaguar's XJ220 testbed, which featured the XJ220's twin-turbocharged engine and running gear underneath a transit body shell. Hammond subsequently won the drag race, beating the Malou by a considerable, albeit unmeasured, margin. References External links Official Australia Ford All-New Transit Website, Official UK Ford Transit Website